Here are five things you didn't know Repl could do for your Shopify website. So the first one is going to be being able to export your sections that you build inside Replo and be able to use them in your Shopify theme editor. This section right here, go to export the section, just type in like reviews and then just hit export section. Add a section, boom, boom, update, publish. If I scroll down to reviews, you'll see it available right there. Second thing is being able to integrate dynamic content. So things that are linked to your backend Shopify. So if the product name, we could set this dynamically to current pre-sleep. So this is the product name that's in Shopify. Click on that and then it'll update. But we just wanted to set it manually to this one to add that trademark thing. Price can also be set dynamically. Um, same thing as before, just hit this button right here for dynamic data. It's usually for text and images that you can set that for. Um, I'm sure there's others, but I just can't remember right now. But for here, just go down to selected variant and then just go to, or pick pick whatever one that makes sense, obviously. Um, but in this case, it's display without selling discount. So the third is native apps without embedding code. So another example could be for using or trying to integrate like your review app. So in this case, we have Judge Me. So in, what you wanna do is first set the product. So it's going through here, I'm gonna product and then getting a product block. And then within that, you can set a um, integration. Um, so in this case, there's a bunch, but um, you can just choose any of these. So in this case, we choose um, judge product reviews, um, but you can see there's a bunch there and then just throw that in. And then from there, all you're gonna do is first set the product, right? So in this case, we want pre-sleep blue raspberry. And then within the app, just click on dynamic product. So current product, and then just use dynamic property, and then it should be good to go. So then whatever the reviews you have, that's linked through Shopify like to that product, as far as reviews, it'll link there. The fourth is custom animations and interactions like hovering over buttons. So here's a quick example of um, having a hover over. So I'll show you something like that. Go, go select the button first, and then you wanna go to states, add a state, and then you go to add custom. Add. So it should be a different state, right? And then from here, you can make whatever changes you want to the design. So before we had it being a white background, in this case, we want um, like the board, the board's already there. And then just having um, a 0% background, or you could just get rid of it. But this is another way to do it. Um, and then, yeah, so then you can see the difference. And then also the text, you, you could change the text as well. So you can see that it's this color. However, it's a, it's a white. There's a dark color on default and then one on hover. So that's an easy way to set interactions. And it's all just about the state. So just set that first and then you can, yeah, so put a name, show if, hover. And then the fifth thing is, you probably have seen it already, but previewing and optimizing on mobile at the same time as desktop. So you can see both views and you can even set tab of views as well. 